What's up everyone, welcome back to Workshop Rebuild. In today's episode, I'll be sharing with you guys how I cut some grass over here in our bushes with the John Deere 317, so stick around. In my latest video, I shared with you guys how I added the decals to the John Deere 317. Everything has been finalized. There are a couple touch-ups that I have to do in the near future, but I'm super satisfied with the way it runs and drives. I'll share with you guys how the 317 performs with the 48-inch mower deck. I did remove the guard on the mower deck, so it chucks out the tall grass a little bit better. And I'll be cutting along this pathway right here and it wraps around the other way over there. So we're gonna go around the bend. There's some higher grass over there. The last time I did cut it, it was already very high. It was as high as the hood right here. Now today I'm gonna go even lower. So we have a fresh cut all the way to the ground. And this pathway gets used uh, when we go and cut up some branches. As you guys can see over here, we have some branches and there's a lot of deadfall in this bush that we just use for firewood and stuff like that so we want to maintain this path over here so we can just come in and out with bigger tractors to just maintain the bush that we have over here so i'll give you guys some action shots of this john deere 317. with the John Deere 317 along our forest path right here. Um, there are quite a few obstacles in the way because we have firewood on the side, we have firewood from winter that's just been laying on the ground and that's why I was swerving quite a bit. I'd have to go now and clean that up and maybe I'd do one more pass but I'll leave that for another day. I'm super satisfied with the John Deere 317. It doesn't just look good but it also performs really really well. Thanks to the rebuild on the Kohler KT17 Series 2 I did. I'll leave a link up above so you guys can watch that video. I'm super satisfied with the whole garden tractor over here and it has enormous amounts of power even though it's only rated at 17 horsepower. It does everything the way it should. This grass that I've been cutting today is at least 8 to 10 inches tall. The last time I was cutting it, it was as high as the hood over here. So that must be about 30 to 40 inches high and it just chewed through everything, even the dead grass that was on top of it today. So I'm super satisfied with the power output of this garden tractor right here. If you guys like the content you're seeing, please hit that like button down below. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And in my next video, I'll be tearing into the John Deere 300 garden tractor and I'll be assembling the hydraulic motor and pump. I'll be assembling it onto the rear differential and then we'll have the assembly of the subframe. So stay tuned. 